Hey everyone, whoever watches this, um, I want you to do something for me. In a week from today, I'm going to begin a fundraiser and it's going to be a week long and I'm going to need to raise about $2,500 to be able to publish my book on prayer. It's self-publishing. I don't have the money to do it. God told me to write the book and after I wrote it, I set it aside. And then last fall, late November, God said, publish the book. So I contacted Detected publishers had some great responses prayed about which one to go with and I've got the contract ready to be signed and to send in the money to get the book published um, so all I want you to do I'm not going to ask you to give a certain amount I'm not going to ask you to give any money all I want you to do is if you watch this video and you believe in the power of prayer and you want to help me get this book into people's hands it's it's a book that takes you through a process of 30 devotionals a 30-day devotional life and introduces you to prayer in a lot of different aspects one of the greatest aspects that i deal with in a number of different devotionals is hearing god's voice within this matter of prayer and so what I want you to do is just pray and say, God, am I supposed to help Ross publish his book? There, there's no kickbacks for me. I don't have a book to send you. I don't have anything to give you. If you do it, it's just because you do it because God wanted you to. And the amount you give is just what God lays on your heart to give. And if God doesn't lay it on anybody's heart to give a dime, that's okay. I'm not worried about it. I wasn't worried about it when I wrote it. I wasn't worried about it when God told me to publish it. I know God's going to provide. I don't know how or who. I just know he will. But for a week, I will be uh, taking anything that God lays in your heart to give, and it will all go towards this book and getting it into hands and getting it into to people that want to learn how to pray and, and walk with God. The title of the book is from our father to a man becoming a person of prayer that's the title of the book so now here's the other thing after as you pray about this and pray about it for a week pray about it for as long as you need to till god actually says hey don't worry about it you don't need to help ross or hey send this amount next week whatever he tells you to do um god will provide i'm 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 excited i'm actually excited to see what God's going to do. Um, I feel no pressure to raise the money, $2,500. I feel no pressure to raise that money. I know I'll be giving a certain amount myself towards this book. I will, you know, it'll, it, it's, it's <laughs> I don't have money laying around, but hey, I'll do what I can. And, and I'm excited um, just to do what God wants me to do and to follow his plan and let him show me the way. With that being said, let me let me tell you a story about how God works. Um, when I was on my prayer journey, my first prayer journey across Texas, one of the things that God laid on my heart to do was to go 40 days in a row to the Capitol steps of Austin, Texas, the Capitol building, and it was all closed off, so it was just the perimeter, but the steps that led to the gate that led to the Capitol building. And for 40 days, God told me to go and pray for the state of Texas and for each community, because I visited 40 communities, actually I visited 41 on my prayer journey, by name, praying for those cities, praying for the mayor, praying for the city council, and just asking God to do a work, right? For 40 days. While I was on my journey, when I was in Ira Ann, which is southwest area of Texas, it was the Sunday, the only Sunday that I was gone on this journey. I had went to First Baptist Church of Ira Ann. After I get done with church, I got in my car and Googled where I, the town hall was supposed to be, and it was right across the street. So I, I, just, I just moved my car for the sake of moving my car, and then I went and started prayer walking, that, that, just like I had been. As I'm prayer walking, I've made it completely around one time when this guy pulls up and is late 50s, early 60s in his pickup. Hey, aren't you the guy that was at church this morning that's prayer walk in Texas? I said, yes, sir. 
He said, tell me how to get saved. How, to, how, how can I know Jesus as my Savior? And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Ross, he's just checking out your doctrine to see if you truly believe the biblical concept of being saved by grace through faith. And so I basically gave him a, a doctrinal s dissertation, uh, five to ten minutes. He goes, okay, good, good, good. And he reaches in his wallet and he grabs some money. And I'm like, oh, sir, I don't need any. God has more than provided for this trip. And I really don't need any money. He goes, that's good. I still want you to have it. I said, what do you want me to do with it? He says, give it to whoever God tells you to. And he gave me four $100 bills. And I helped four different people on the second half of that journey with that $400. I'm telling you that because I just know God is going to supply. And it's one thing to be a person that prays and has prayers answered. It's a whole nother level to listen to God's voice, hear him speak to you, and you become an answer to someone's prayer. So getting answers, pray, answer, uh, prayers answered, wonderful. Love it. Get them answered all the time. Being an answer to someone's prayer, <laughs> I don't know if it's better or not. It feels to me like being an answer to someone's prayer is just as exciting as getting a prayer answered. Maybe that's just me. It's just cool. So do it. Pray. Pray about this book. Pray for God to supply. And then if God leads you to send a certain amount, go ahead and commit to that. Uh, and, and know that given it shall be given unto you, God will bless your faith in this matter. He will. I'm not saying that to get you to do something. It's not seed faith like they preach about with these other people that, that give you those thoughts. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying God takes care of his own. And you can't out, out give God. I've tried, I've tried, and I've tried. And God just continues to to fill my cup to overflowing to where I can help people at the right time. Strategically, it's amazing. So, uh, also, if you are interested in this book and you know some other people that might be interested to pray about and consider being a part of this publishing process by getting this money raised, share this video with them. All right? Father God, I love you. You know my heart. I'm being very transparent with those that are watching this video. I thank you for them, and I thank you for this opportunity uh, that you've given me. You've put this book in my heart. It's now been written. I know there's some editorial work that they're going to do at the publisher. And then, God, just to get this hand book into the hands of people, to give you glory for all the things that you do, and to draw other people to this place of prayer where you've brought me over the last five or six years of my, my journey. God, if, if, if this book, and God, this is my prayer, this has been my prayer for a while now, but if this book can help bring a thousand people to becoming that person of prayer, God, I would be overwhelmed that you allowed me to be such a small part of your kingdom, but to play such a great role. Because you know, Father, prayer is fellowship with you, and it's my joy. So, Father God, take this message to the ears and the hearts of those that need to hear it, and stir the hearts of those that you are drawing to be a part of this ministry in this way. And we're going to give you the glory. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, God bless. Have a great day.